Cities have their own distinct history that can be shared, making them living, breathing things. Like any story though, there are some chapters that are more positive and some that are negative. Today, we start on a journey to explore several European towns that frequently rank higher on crime indices and social difficulties, approaching them with an open mind and accepting their shortcomings. Take a look at the worst cities in Europe. Let's start. Marseille, France. With a population of 1,628,000, Marseille is the second biggest city in France. Its lively port, beautiful beaches and historical beauty make it a great place to visit. But there is a complicated truth about crime and social problems that lies beneath the surface. Marseille's crime rate is higher than that of other French towns, which is a bad sign. It has a score of 65.30, higher than Paris's score of 57.90, which means it has a lot of crime, mostly theft, muggings and drug-related crimes. Social tension and a feeling of neglect may result from this. Marseille's public transport system may look less effective and need improvement when compared to other large French cities. Pollution of the air and water in Marseille can be a problem especially in the summer. Heavy traffic, industry and problems with waste management are some of the factors that contribute to pollution of the air and water in Marseille, especially in the summer. Marseille's rental and property prices have been rising dramatically, making it less accessible for some people, even if living expenses are generally lower than in Paris. It's crucial to keep in mind that every person's experience in Marseille is unique and that these are only possible disadvantages. Charleroi, Belgium. With a population of 418,000, Charleroi Belgium's steel city bears an industrial past tainted by coal dust, but its present reality reflects a tapestry of conflicting historical events. Social problems and crime statistics present a different picture than the beautiful architecture and regeneration initiatives. The crime index for Charleroi is concerning when compared to the Belgian average. With a score of 66.58 compared to the 52.32 national average, the city has high rates of violence, drug-related offences and property theft. Unemployment rates higher than the national average affect a significant portion of the population. High poverty areas restrict possibilities and exacerbate social conflicts. Subpar housing and vacant structures worsen neglect and social problems. Charleroi's story is one of extreme contrasts. It's a city that embraces its difficulties, battles for a better future, and displays the unyielding spirit of its citizens. Birmingham. United Kingdom. Beyond its thriving music scene and ancient canals, Birmingham, with a population of 2,665,000 England's second largest city, faces social and criminal difficulties. Let's go into the statistics and stories. Birmingham's crime rate is alarmingly high when compared to the English average. It scores high at 70.67, especially in terms of violent crime, 40.4% of all offences, and theft. Unemployment rates are higher than the national average, affecting young people and certain communities. 
Youth violence is a multifaceted issue that affects specific neighbourhoods and is spurred by social and economic causes. Birmingham's story is full of contrasts. It is a city that acknowledges its challenges, confronts them head on, and demonstrates its people's unshakable spirit. Understanding its complexities provides a truer picture of this ever-changing English metropolis. Naples, Italy. Naples with a population of 2,179,000, the colourful southern jewel of Italy, enthralls with its fiery spirit, delectable pizza and historical charm. A complex reality about crime and social issues lurks beneath the surface. Naples' state of health isn't as good as in other Italian cities. With a crime index of 62.63 compared to the 50.52 national average, it stands out for having higher than normal rates of theft, pickpocketing and drug-related offences. The ancient charm of the city can have disadvantages as well. Parking might be difficult on the city's tiny, twisting streets. Furthermore, the pollution in the air and noise affect the environment as a whole. Finally, even with Naples' breathtaking coastline setting, some may miss more tranquil seaside excursions due to the city's busy waterfronts and restricted public beach access during high season. Montpellier, France. Montpellier, a sun-drenched Mediterranean gem in France, entices tourists with its beaches and vibrant student culture. But the reality behind the picture-perfect exterior is one of increased crime and socio-economic hardships. Montpellier, with a population of 478,000, presents a worrying image when set against other French cities. Its 62.28 crime index compared to the 46.70 national average, is high, especially when it comes to crimes involving drugs, pickpocketing and theft of property in particular neighbourhoods. Affordability may be impacted by the cost of living, especially housing, which can be substantially higher than in other French cities. While not dangerous, it is important to be cautious of certain locations due to drug activity and small-time larceny. Catania, Italy. Catania, with a population of 587,000, Sicily's volcanic gem amazes tourists with its fiery spirit, Roman ruins and Baroque treasures. However, problems are simmering below the surface, as shown by crime rates and social issues. Catania has a tougher reality than other Italian towns. It has a high crime rate, 60.55 compared to 50.52 for the country as a whole, especially for theft, drug crimes and corruption. Navigating the city can test one's patience due to the hectic traffic, small streets and scarce parking. Although the cost of living is still appealing, inefficiencies and bureaucratic obstacles can be annoying. The beautiful surroundings may be difficult to explore because there aren't many public transit options. In addition, certain districts in Catania, despite being home to many historical treasures, are neglected and at risk of ruin. Tourists should pay particular attention to Catania's crime rate. 
tourist targeting scams and small-time larceny are not as common as in some Italian cities, although they still happen. It is imperative to exercise caution, especially at night and in populated regions. Recall that you can reduce potential risks by being aware and using the appropriate caution, which will let you fully enjoy Catania's distinct charm and fiery character. Nantes, France. Nantes, with a population of 700,000, is a lively western gem in France. Its medieval castle, busy riverfront and booming art scene make it a charming place to visit. On the other hand, social problems and higher crime rates are hiding behind the pretty exterior. When you compare Nantes to other French towns, it shows a mixed picture. It has a crime index of 58.86 which is higher than the national average of 46.70. Pickpocketing, car theft and drug-related crimes are problems in some places. You should exercise extra caution in some locations, especially the area around the train station because of drug use and small-time larceny. The cost of living, particularly housing, may impact affordability, potentially exceeding that of other French cities. While public transport is effective in the city centre, it may seem less comprehensive when travelling to the outskirts, which could restrict accessibility. Opportunities for job seekers in specialised industries may exist here, but the market isn't as expansive as in major French centres. Paris, France. With a population of 11,208,000, the Eiffel Tower, the Louvre Museum and the beautiful Seine River make Paris the city of lights, a magical place to visit but behind the tourist attractions is a complex world with more crime and social problems. Paris has to deal with a harsher reality than other French towns. It has a high crime rate 57.90 compared to 46.70 for the whole country, especially for pickpocketing, theft and drug crimes in some places. Paris has social problems that go beyond just numbers. The affordability of housing is a big problem that pushes people to the edges of towns and causes economic inequality. Poverty pockets make things more difficult for everyone, but it's especially bad for newcomers and minorities. Public transportation is widespread, but it doesn't always reach all areas equally, which makes it harder to get to jobs and other opportunities. Malmo, Sweden. The Öresund Bridge, colourful squares and cool areas in Malmo, Sweden's southern beacon, bring in lots of tourists. But social problems and higher crime rates than in the Nordic countries show that it's not all sunshine and rainbows. Malmo, with a population of 337,000, looks pretty bad when compared to other Swedish towns. It has a high crime rate, 56.7, compared to 46.1% nationally, especially for theft, drug crimes and gang violence in some places. 
young people and newcomers are hit the hardest by unemployment rates exceeding the national average. Divided neighbourhoods exacerbate poverty and restrict opportunities, fueling social tensions. There are language and cultural hurdles that make it hard to include different groups in society. Athens, Greece. Athens, with a population of 3.8 million, the birthplace of democracy and ancient pride, is a fascinating place to visit with its famous ruins, busy markets and sun-kissed beaches. However, there are social problems and higher crime rates than in Europe that make the country less appealing to tourists. Athens' score of 56.15 is about average when compared to other EU cities. The average for EU cities is 36.7. But there are still worries about theft, pickpocketing and drug-related crimes in some places, especially tourist spots. The recent financial crisis left scars, causing many people to lose their jobs and fall below the poverty line. Language barriers and a lack of tools make it hard to integrate newly arriving groups. Abandoned buildings and overcrowded neighbourhoods both hinder people and restrict their choices. The city can be difficult to navigate because of the hectic traffic, packed public transit and scarce parking spaces that test one's patience. While Athens boasts many magnificent archaeological monuments, other parts of the city suffer from deterioration and neglect, creating a stark contrast with its lively centre. However, to deny Athens's enchantment due to its shortcomings alone is to ignore its beauty. Athens provides a true Greek experience, with everything from mouth-watering food and a bustling nightlife to hidden treasures and welcoming residents. Thank you for watching the video. Make sure you subscribe to get more great videos.